on Cardinal Nation. Well, boy, what a game this was. Crazy game. We win 12 to 11 over the Cincinnati Reds. In game two of the four game series. Yeah, this was just a, a crazy game, really. As, well, we were down seven to nothing going into the sixth inning. And we scored 10 runs in the inning. That's right. 10 runs, I believe 11 batters came to bat. And, uh, so boy, it was just, it was just crazy. Really didn't see that coming at all. We haven't came from this big of a deficit in a long time. Which ironically, the last time, I think we came back from 7 nothing, and then scored 10 runs, ironically, was against the Reds. I believe it was 2002. So, um, yeah. So the Reds would go up 1 0. Uh, RBI single by Jose Peraza, and then Yasiel Puig in RBI. I opened him up 3 0. Uh, and then Joey Varo sack fly put him up four to nothing. So I'm thinking, man, down four to nothing. Uh, going into the, into the fourth, still a lot of game left, obviously. But then uh, they go up seven to nothing. Three run homer by Ryan Lavarway, the catcher who's actually making his very first appearance with the Reds after they just signed him or called him up whatever um and uh he's been around for a little while i think he's been around since like 2011. he's been with a number of teams uh well far and away so but he would have a three-run homer put him up seven to nothing so thinking man and by then wainwright was done so that was uh, this morning for him, so. But then, so going into the sixth, down seven to nothing. Uh, we would be on the board. Tyler O'Neill, RBI single that would make it seven to two. Um, and then, Paul Dion would make it seven to five with an RBI double. That would make it seven to five. Thinking, wow, we've scored five runs in the sixth, and we could make a big comeback and tie it up. So we would tie it up. Uh, I believe it was. Uh, a oh, Andrew Kisner would tie it up on an RBI double that that he just missed a home run. It was in play though. Uh, so that would tie it at seven, thinking, wow, my goodness, huge comeback. Did not see that coming at all. So, and then Jose Martinez would put us up 10 to seven, three round homer. So, wow. Uh, that was just awesome. 10 runs in the sixth inning. Put us up 10, 10 to 7. So, Adam Wainwright, like I said, 3 and a third, leave in the fourth inning. And then Michael Walker would take over, and he would do a nice job. Would also get the win. So, uh, Paul DeYoung would put us up 12 to 7 with a two run homer, his 15th of the year. So, of course, he homered. On Thursday, so um, yeah, so bullpen. Well, it would need a lot of work, but uh, it would do a good job. John Gant and in Indian third, um, and Andrew Miller, well, would walk a batter, and then Carlos Martinez would hang on and get the save with the bases loaded, or actually with runners first and third with Joey Votto at the plate. So, 
Also, Ryan Lavarway would have a huge night 